What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So a couple of videos ago, I did a video talking about the best countries to target when it comes to drop shipping. And what we discovered was that the US in fact isn't the best place to sell your products. In fact, it's actually one of the most expensive places to advertise. And then when it comes to the actual conversion rate and quality of that traffic, it's only really in the top 30% of countries. So what my suggestion was at the end of the video was to adopt a strategy of taking a tried and tested, proven, quote unquote, saturated product, but sell it in a country where it wasn't saturated. What I didn't do at the end of that video though, um, is back that strategy up with evidence that it was a good strategy to go out and use. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that any strategy I put across or any suggestion I like to back it up. So that's what this video is for. I'm gonna show you two Shopify stores that I found currently listed for sale on the exchange marketplace and they've followed this strategy to a T and made over a million dollars doing it. So in a second we'll jump into my computer, I'll show you the stores, I'll show you the products so you can see just how successful they've been and then we'll talk about the kind of points and strategies that you can use to replicate their success. What's really interesting about these stores as well is they're not a year old, they're not two years old, they haven't stopped making sales. These are businesses that are currently making sales and being successful and therefore this strategy is up to date and working now. So if you're watching this video and you've been struggling in the past trying to sell to some of these really competitive countries, then I highly suggest giving this strategy a go. And so with that being said then, let's jump into my computer and I'll show you the first store. Okay, so here we are then at the first store. It's called Baltico.com. We can see it's currently listed on the exchange marketplace for $300,000. Um, I tend to ignore these valuations to be honest. I've sold a couple of stores on the exchange marketplace and when you put in your numbers it gives you like an estimated value and it's usually completely way off like heavily overpriced so we can ignore this for now. The reason why I want to show you these guys is because they're focusing on a country which typically might not come to mind when it comes to drop shipping and they're also selling a quote unquote saturated product. So the strategy that I'm referring to is taking a tried and tested proven saturated products that's been sold heavily and been heavily successful in the US or in the UK, but then take it to a country where it hasn't been sold to the same degree and therefore there's huge potential. If a product sells really, really well in the US and really, really well in the UK, then there's no reason why it won't sell really, really well in say other countries like Spain or Germany or Australia. And these are the sorts of countries which we shouldn't be writing out and should be running tests for. So let's jump into this store then. I'll show you the numbers and show you how successful they've been. Um, but just to highlight this, this is notes from the actual seller. So they say, I was looking for products to start a new brand and came across an ad for the pet beds. I found it a good product, tested it, and here we are. So I'll show you in a second as well when we take a look at the store, but we actually be able to see what their very best selling product was. Okay, so let's take a look at the traffic and performance of this store from the very first day in which it launched, which was back in October 2019. We can see it was pretty successful in its first year, hitting over 100K a month um, towards the end of Q4 in 2020. In 2021, it had a pretty steady year, um, finishing up then at the point in which they're trying to sell it now in January 2022, uh, making over four grand in a month. Now, obviously that's nothing crazy impressive, but what you have to keep in mind is this is a business that's no longer spending money on advertising. This is purely organic sales. The next store I'm gonna show you is a lot more impressive than this. It's way over a million dollars and actually made 50 grand last month. So it just goes to show the products I'm gonna show you for that store in the country they're selling them is still an effective strategy and still worth considering. So with that being said then, let's jump into the store itself. It's a Spanish store. Um, if I'm not mistaken. If we go straight into our Shopify inspector tool and then straight across to products and then to best sellers, we can actually see that this is their best selling product. If you've been involved in dropshipping and watching videos and been on AliExpress a few times doing product research, you've probably seen this product um, numerous times. This is what most people would consider a saturated product. And you don't have to take my word for it either. If we take a look at this screenshot, this is from my Instagram story. So I wanted to get people's opinions um, on different products to make sure that it wasn't, I wasn't making an unfair biased or decision or judgment um, on my own bias. Obviously my opinion and, perce and perception of products is gonna be different to everybody else's. So it's always good to take an average. So I put this post out and as we can see, 74% of people agreed with me 
and would consider this a saturated product. However, here we are, a store that's been able to sell this product really successfully, but the reason they've been able to do it successfully is because they're not competing with the majority of other drop shippers, which are trying to sell it in the US, they're selling it to a Spanish market. And if I just draw your attention quickly to the spreadsheet that I used in my last video, um, this number at the end, which I've highlighted, this is the average CPM. So in Spain, the average CPM is five. So that's $5 for every 1,000 people that see your ad, whereas the average CPM for the United States is $35. So that is seven times more expensive. These numbers are taken from Statista as well, so that's a reliable source. But again, it's a generalization of all niches combined, depending on how effective your ad is and what kind of audience it is you're targeting. Obviously, these are all things that are going to affect how expensive your CPMs are. But in terms of like a like for like comparison taken from Statista, Spain has an average CPM of $5 and the United States has an average CPM of $7. Essentially what this means is that spending $1 in Spain is the same as spending $7 in America. Moving on to store number two then, this store is a lot more impressive even though the valuation or the for sale, the asking price is a lot lower. So this is gym-grizzly.de. So I believe these guys are focusing on a German market. Um, let's jump into their traffic and performance then since launch so it's a business that started back in August 2019 they've stuck with it since then and their very last month so the month just gone January 2022 we can see they actually turned over over $50,000. So this is a business which is very much active and very much still successfully selling these products. As for the products themselves then, if we take a look at their social page, we can see what kind of products it is they're pushing. We have the push-up board um, in this one, we have the push-up board in this one, push-up board in this one, in this one, in this one. We have a pull-up bar, we have the push-up board once again, and then we have some exercise bands. So it seems pretty clear the exercise bands again it seems pretty clear that they're pushing mainly the push-up board and also the exercise bands so again what I did was I put these products to my followers on Instagram got them to vote on whether they considered them saturated products or not and here's the results so if we take a look at the voting for the exercise bands we can see it was 76% in favor of being saturated and if we take a look at the results for the push-up board we can see it's almost 50 50 but 56% favor in being saturated for the push-up board as well. So even though these products are considered saturated, they can still be sold successfully because they're being sold in countries where they're not considered saturated, where they haven't been seen time and time again because there isn't hundreds, if not thousands of different sellers all competing to sell the same product. And so with that being said, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. Um, short, sharp, hopefully a helpful and valuable video. Hopefully it's given you something to think about and to consider. This definitely isn't a strategy for everyone because obviously with this comes the, the daunting task of having to translate your website. There are apps on the Shopify app store, by the way, which will do this for you. You can reach out to people on Fiverr as well for as little as sort of $50. You can get a native speaker of a certain language to translate your website for you. And obviously there is the issue of conversion fees and rates and things like that to take into account if you were to go along these lines. So definitely pros and cons to it, but all in all, I definitely think you shouldn't rule this out. If you're watching this video now and you've tried to sell products in America or you've tried to sell products in the UK and these are tried and tested proven products that you know are selling well for other people, then definitely give this a go. Definitely check out my video I did a couple of days ago where I go through all the different and best countries to target in terms of quality of traffic and the lowest CPMs and give that a try before you completely write the product off. And so one final quick note then before you go, I just wanna say a massive thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate the support. I've had a few people reaching out to me recently about my mentorship program. So if you are interested in that and you're looking for somebody to work alongside you one-on-one, -on -one, kind of like a bit of a hand holding if you like. So to give you kind of like in a nutshell of what it involves, it's basically a 60 day program. Um, every week we will talk via Zoom, it will be me giving you the support nobody else you won't be um, kind of offloaded onto somebody else everything you do will be dealt with by me um, you also get my personal phone number too so we can talk daily via whatsapp and you get that daily support and conversation and a place to ask questions basically so so if that's the sort of thing
thing that you think would be valuable and you'd be interested in, make sure you just comment the word accelerator down below. I'll reach out. We can get a call booked in together. We can talk about your current position and what your goals are and how I can help you achieve those. It is quite an exclusive program, so I only work with a maximum of 10 people per month. So if you are looking to get started, make sure you don't delay and put that comment down below of Accelerator. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.